Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today we're going to go into the new 2019 Boxo USA Tools catalog but first I want to start off by uh, kind of giving you some information. Boxo Tools was originated I believe in Europe, Germany, they're big in the racing scene over there uh, so if you just look up Boxo Tools you'll see that website. Well they've been around for a little over 40 years now and they started off by making toolboxes and then Boxo Tools or Boxo USA Tools is kind of like their sister company and they've started that I believe about 10 years ago but just in the last year or two they've started selling tools here and actually you know opened up uh, so they started off with toolboxes then they moved into tools and when US the Boxo USA started uh, they really brought about the EVA foam organizers and stuff like that and improved upon the toolboxes and organization and the tools and everything. Now everything made by Boxo Tools or Boxo Tools US, USA, they're all Taiwan. And that's okay because as we know in the last 10 or so years, Taiwan tools have really made a jump. They're good tools. Uh, it's not like back in the day when you would get you know, a, a non-American tool and it would be absolute garbage. Now a lot of them are actually really reliable. Now it's not going to be as cheap as you know going to Harbor Freight or you know uh, a lot of your Taiwan tools that you would find on Amazon or anything like that. They're going to be a little bit more expensive, but that's also because of the foam organizers and how they fit their toolboxes specifically and everything like that. So if you're looking for an all around kit, I believe they have some good deals. Uh, now you don't have to get it with the EVA foam, but I'm about to show you everything. So I'm going to try and run through it quickly. So if you want me to, uh, go over something more specifically, let me know, drop it down in the comments and I'll be happy to, uh, go into that with you. So thank you. All right, so hopefully I have it all on the screen here. It's pretty good size catalog, so I'm gonna have to go through it pretty quickly so it's not a long, boring video. So starting off with tool storage, it's just kind of their uh, 54 inch heavy duty boxes. Um, won't get into that. I'll show you what I'm really interested in. These 72 inch triple banks are actually really nice. I saw this one at the PRI show, really nice tool boxes. Uh, they got that lift handle latch. They have USB and power strips built into them nice stainless steel tops that fit inside of the the toolbox um, dual slides on the big drawer all around really nice toolboxes these are the 19 drawer system then they have this size as well 26 and 45 inch toolboxes same features except this one's obviously got the little hutch on top it's not going to be your super tall hutch or anything like that but then you got their smaller ones the different color combinations and stuff. The thing I like about this side cabinet, if you look right here, it's angled at the top, just like over here. Well, the cabinet actually matches that. So when it's shut, it's nice and flush all the way across. I really like that. Now, sorry, there's no prices in here or anything, so I can't really go too much into that. Uh, Gear Ranch has something very similar to this. The nice thing about Boxo USA tools, no matter what toolbox you get, almost all of them, you can uh, get packs of different colored handles and they simply just clip on. Uh, and I thought that was a really cool feature to customize your toolboxes. Here is their new service card. I believe this is gonna be around $900, but seeing this in person, this is a beautiful service card. I love the sliding top and inside of each uh, slide, there's an actual drawer that you can pull out. There's a power strip on the inside as well. Really nice uh, toolbox. And then here's their full drawer service cart. That's also really nice. I love that white and black and blue. I'm usually a, a black and red guy, but this color combination is just beautiful to me. All right, so tool sets, lots of different tool sets. This is some of their big sellers. It's uh, I believe this is around $700. Don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. $600 maybe, I don't know. Uh, but it's a smaller grab and go toolbox that comes pre-fit with different uh, inserts, your wrench drawer, screwdriver drawer, plier, and Allen key drawer. And then up top, you got a socket set, quarter inch and three eighths. And then they also have, this was a 133 piece set. This is a 117 piece set. This is going to be, uh, well, I'm, I'm not sure what's different. Uh, the wrench set I believe is different on that. But then you got this 185 piece set. So a little bit bigger wrench set and stuff like that, more sockets. 
And then you have all these different attachments for that uh, box that I showed you that looks like the gear wrench one. These over here. So you got all your different accessories and stuff and organizers. Different organizers as well. You know, you got your socket holder, plier rack, uh, different socket holders that are magnetic. They, you can just throw them on the side of your toolbox or wherever you want. Two bracks, I'm guessing, or four, you know, like screwdrivers. And here you can see they hold pliers. And then they have a huge lineup of different tool sets in EVA foam. And I kind of flip through that. Different socket sets. This is the one that I have. It's actually really nice. You guys already heard me say it. This is a 90 tooth ratchet. Um, and it is one of the smoothest operating ratchets I've ever used. Really surprised by that. But they got half inch drive specific. They got six point, 12 point Allen keys, impact sockets. You know, you got your uh, lug nut sockets that'll protect your rim. Different, you know, being from Europe, spanners, deep offsets. A lot of insulated pliers, your normal comfort grip pliers, T handles, vice grips, different com combinations, long nose handles or pliers, different vice grips. These are your uh, retaining clip pliers, punch and chisel sets, file sets, and then you can also buy individuals as well. They have a lot here, so I don't mean to. Uh, flip through it really fast but I just want to give you a quick idea huge lineup and uh, what's really nice so it's really good if you're gonna purchase one of their toolboxes and outfit it with their tools that's gonna to be the best way to go about it it's gonna be perfect fit um, perfect layout but if you just need you know something like this they are available here you have some of the different ratchets stubby ratchets different universal adapters magnetic and all of that some of them are just uh, socket sets here's their wrenches that you can buy in or without the EVA foam there's one this one over here I actually used at the show this is their 72 tooth ratcheting round nut spanner and this six point type style ratcheting it's actually like your twist socket uh, for when you have a rounded off fastener and I'm telling you it worked really well not just on six point fasteners but on almost completely round fasteners as well I was really surprised that thing worked really well and then another cool one that they got is the magnetic one it's got this ring around it that will hold your fastener in place so it doesn't fall out the back your different uh, Allen keys. There's their torque wrench. Different screwdriver sets. Pliers. Vice grips. Rivet gun. Shears, tin snips. Saws, knives, hammers. I mean, obviously they got <laughs> they got a lot. So here they got their high voltage, you know, insulated tools as well, pliers and screwdrivers, impact sockets. They got a lot of new stuff this year. Impact socket sets, Allen keys, that I believe over here, or uh, Torx. Specialty tools, brake bleeder kit, uh, hone tools, brake spring tools for uh, brake drums, oil filter, wrenches, hose pinch off pliers, trim pieces, valve stem tools, test light, test light. And that is it. So the big thing was the toolboxes to me uh, with the kits. Seems like all around good deal and good tools and toolboxes. Um, but once again, not gonna be super cheap. So if you're a DIYer, um, it's 
probably not best suited for you if you're not looking at spending a whole lot of money. But if you're a, a DIYer that works a lot, or if you're looking for a good uh, kit to get in the automotive field, I think uh, a majority of people would be happy with this stuff. Let me know what you guys thought. Sorry if I rushed through it. Didn't want this to be too long, but thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.